Okay, guys. In the last video, I did a a nice little fonts breakdown, a part, a three-parter. In the third part, I did a complicated font and did this happy birthday. When I did the break apart, several of the letters did not keep their holes they filled in and i showed you how to fix that fill in by breaking apart even further and then selecting two pieces and doing uh, uh what was it difference several times over there's a a much better way it's not a hundred percent but it's pretty close i'm very happy with it so i wanted to share that with you a uh, couple of them on the forums mentioned it to me and one person in my youtube videos on my youtube channel mentioned it to me so in the previous video i did happy birthday on the angela angelican text when i did the break apart you can see in here that the h p p and b filled in And then I proceeded in the rest of the video, about, looks like about seven more minutes of video, how to fix that. And it's, it's a good thing to know. So the video is still worth seeing because it's good to know how to do that. But I want to show you another thing that has been brought to my attention. I'm gonna fire up Inkscape. And we'll do the same word. Happy birthday. We'll do the same font. Hit apply. I'm going to scroll in so we can see a bit more what we're doing. I'm not worried about the border so much in this video. And of course, the first thing you're going to do, and anytime you're working with fonts, first thing you do, path, object to path. Just make that a habit. Working with fonts, object to path. Next thing you want to do, and this is the, the key piece to this, go into your fill and stroke settings. Under fill, you have two settings right here side by side. One is filled and one has holes. The filled one is the default one. That's the one we don't want. We want the one with holes. Then that'll respect your holes. So after selecting that, ink stitch, fill tools, break apart objects, keep it on simple, hit apply, close, extensions, ink stitch, troubleshoot, objects. All shapes are valid. So just like that we have a working piece. We're gonna go ahead and do a, a, a simulator just to make sure, because I have, I have had a piece tell me it's valid and then not, and then it just wouldn't stitch. Had a user submitted item do that too. So we're just gonna go ahead and simulate just to make sure. And there we go. We didn't have to fix any fills. All of our holes have been respected. Just with that one simple, one little simple button right there. I have not figured out how to make that stay there. So I've had to select it every time. I'm still looking. But I hope you enjoyed this. Hope this helps you do fonts in the ink stitch certainly should make it easier thanks for watching